Welcome back everybody to the channel. Now, <clears throat> as you can see in the title, NBA season's back tonight. Um, I've already did an upload for today, but I'm going to do a double upload because the NBA season and all that. Now, you saw me uh, react to the top 400, excuse me, for ESPN. Bleacher Report did theirs uh, yesterday. I know I'm a day late, but I'm going to get to it and see this top 100 um, before. It. And also on the title, I'm going to predict that, you know, two games that's going to be on the title. I'm going to do that for you right here. Now, at, before these rankings, you got Brooklyn and the Warriors. I think Brooklyn wins that. KD, uh, Kyrie, too much for Steph. Um uh, and Wiseman. I don't think Draymond's playing, of course. Unfortunately, Clay is, you know, of course, out with the ACL. So that gives me Brooklyn. I don't know how much, but I say Brooklyn wins. You got Clippers, Lakers. <sighs> Clippers, if I was the Clippers and I was on that team, I would want to come out hungry tonight after doing a 3 1 Comblats fail against the Nuggets in the playoffs. I don't know if they will or not. Mm, this one's a tough one for me. I'm going to go Lakers tonight. I think the Lakers will beat them. Um, and the Lakers have just became better with the offseason too. So with, you know, free agents and a trade. So I think Lakers wins tonight. But I think, I think, that's, I think that's a very close game. So now let's get to the top 100 for Bleacher Report. It's probably going to be... Some of them, I hope Bleacher Reports is better than ESPN's, but I'm pretty sure I'll be looking at some of them like, how is he the snupper and all that. But of course, the people that are injured that would make it to the top 100, Jonathan Isaac, Jeremy Lamb, and Clay Thompson are not named. And they said, apologies to NBA rookies for giving the boot that's going to try to get to the top 100 next year. LaMelo, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese, Akoya, Patrick Williams, and James Wiseman. And here is second and third players who were strongly considered but worth keeping an eye but did not make it. Marvin Bagley, the third. Dante DeVent, nah, I can't say that last name. Cameron Johnson, Kevin Porter Jr., Cam Reddish, Shamit, Gary Trent Jr., P.J. Washington, and Kobe White. Out of all of them, Kobe White should uh, probably be the closest and some that just missed the cut. Harrison Barnes, Real Barton, Bangs, Patrick Beverly, KCP. So KCP isn't even in their top 100, but in ESPN, he was 76, I think. Seth Curry, Derek Favors, Fournier, Mark Gasol, Tim Harvey Jr., Danny Green, Montrez Harold. Hmm. That may be the first one I'll be like, eh, I think he should be top 100. Kelly Oubre Jr. should be top 100. Um, I'm not going to name all of these. Derrick Rose, is it? Uh, well, I mean, he is getting old. I don't know. I still like Derrick. Lou Will. Dennis Hurl. Hmm. Well, okay. Some of them should be. Okay, number 100. Colin Sexton. Lonzo Ball, 99. He was ranked 56th from last year. 99. I like him to be in maybe the 80s, possibly. Eric Bledsoe, 98. How has he moved down for so much? Valen Jewis, 97. Might be too low for him. Al Horford, nah, I don't, I wouldn't complain about that, really. All right, 95 to 91. Jay Crowder, 95. Devontae Graham, 94. That's too, that's definitely too low. Joe Harris, 93. Buddy Hill, 92. He's too low. Joe Harris, probably too low. Mitchell Robinson, same spot as he was last time, 91. So let's go to 90 to Derek White, 90, Laurel, Laurie, 
Lori from the Bulls, I can't say the name, 89. P.J. Tucker, 88. DeVos Bartons from the Wizards, 87. Campella, 86. Jared Allen, 85. Josh Richardson, 84. What was he? ESPNs. I think he was in the low 90s or... I think Bleacher Report had him higher. Maybe. I don't know. 84 for Josh. Michael Porter Jr., 83. Mikkel Bridges, 82. Robert Covington, 81. Okay. Joe Ingles, 80. John Wall, 79. Okay, I, I get it. He's hard to project where he's going to be after this year. But if you're telling me if we get a half or three quarters, John Wall, what he was before the injury, he's easily top 30 or higher. Steven Adams, 78. Tyler Hero, 77. I don't mind Tyler Hero being at 77. I get all the hype and everything, but um, I don't think he should be that high. Drogic, 76. Drogic could be higher. Marcus Smart, 75. Or uh, <clears throat> Aaron Gordon, 74. Christian Wood, 73. Uh, Brooke Lopez, 72. Jamir Grant, 71. Hmm. Drummond at 70. I don't know what Drummond was for ESPN. Was he even in the top 100? I don't know. But I like 70 for Drummond. 69, Serge Ibaka. Spencer Dinwiddie at 68. He's on my fantasy team, as Drummond is. Mark Con uh, Mike Conley, <clears throat> 67. Wendell Carter Jr. 66. Hmm. And this is literally the first sentence of what they said when he was on, you know, the rankings. Including Winder Caldwell Jr. <clears throat> among the top 100 players, let alone just the 25, top 25 bigs, might be the biggest risk of the entire process. That's all you need to know with these rankings. He shouldn't even be that high, barely probably in top 100. TJ Warren, 65. They must have, they had, they had to do this list before, uh, trades and everything. They got Bogon from the Hawks and it says he's still on the Kings at 64. Um, the other Bogon from the Jazz, 63. So back to back Bogons. The NJ Murray, 62. Kevin Love, 61. He's way higher than that. Tobias Harris. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing Tobias Harris ahead of him, but Tobias at 60. Brogdon, 59. I know Kevin Love getting, you know, older, but come on now. D'Angelo Russell, 58. He should definitely be higher. OG Anobi, 57. Ain't no damn way. DeMar DeRozan, 56. Hmm. Well, I will give Bleacher Report this. They they ranked DeRozan better than ESPN did. That's for sure. I'll give them that, I guess. But I, 56, I think that's still too low. All right, 55 to 51. Karis LeVert, 55. You got Aldridge at 54. I think Aldridge still top 50, even at his age. Blake Griffin, 53. Gallinari, 52. And Nurkic from the Brazers is 51. 
Gordon Hayward, 50. Van Van Fleet, 49. Miles Turner, 48. Miles Turner, 48. Draymond Green, 47. Zach Levine, 46. I think Zach Levine is top 40 at least, or 35. John Collins, 45. and he top 40. But who, I mean, Jaron Jackson Jr., 44. I think, uh, I think he should be high at least. Uh, Victor Oladipo, 43. That's interesting. Um... I think he's going to come out and really ball out this year. Kimba, 42. Wow. Sabonis, 41. That's well deserved. Probably top 40. Nikola Vucevic, 40. Probably a good enough perform. Chris Stops, Porzingis, 39. Same as the bubble. So you're telling me, and I get it, you know, injury prone and everything. But if your pre-bubble rank was 39, and after the bubble of how he was balling out, he doesn't move up. Seems a little, you know, I don't know. I don't like it. Shy, Gillis, Alexander, 38. Deontay Ayton, 37, ahead of Porzingis. Yikes, yikes. Yeah, that's a big yikes. I don't know about him being that high. CJ McCollum, 36. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. De'Aaron Fox, 35. I don't know about that. Could be higher. Brandon Ingram, 34. He top 30. Zion, 33. So, Bleach Report did not, um, they not, did not over rank Zion so he could grow higher in the rankings next year. Probably a smart move, but he's definitely probably top 30 if he just stays healthy. Probably top 20, just like ESPN had him. Just uh, Jalen uh, Brown, I almost said Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown, the next spot at 32. Kyrie at 31. Bro, the... Uh, I just read some of their reasoning. So if he's outside of the top 25, that means he's not even in 10, 15, top 15 guards in the NBA. Westbrook at 30 ahead of him. Drew Holiday, 29. I, li I like that for Drew. Drew always be guarding the toughest people and everything, and he still give you buckets at least, you know, 18 to 20. John Morant, 28. Hell no. I like Ja, but you're telling me he's ahead of Kyrie? Nah, I don't think so. Jamal Murray, same with Jamal Murray. I like Jamal Murray, but... Head of Kyrie, I mean, maybe from last season, I guess. But if we're projecting what they're going to do, no way. Chris Middleton, 26. Wait a minute, his pre-bubble rank was 10th? Oh, what the hell were they thinking? Kyle Lowry, 25. See, if we're getting deep here with some of the stuff. Mitchell, 24. Rudy Gobert. Yeah, 
yes, he plays defense and everything, but you're telling me that he's better than Donovan Mitchell? Just keep on going. Chris Paul, 22. Bradley Bill, 21. That's good for him. Trey Young, 20. Pascal Siakam, 19. Cat mm. at 18. Bam at 17. Bam better than Cat? Uh, I don't think so. Paul George at 16. D-Buck at 15. Ben Simmons at 14. Ah, Booker better than him. Embiid at 13. Jimmy Butler at 12. Justin Tatum at 11. A lot of people had that, you know... Jimmy Butler and Jason Tatum because I think Tatum was ahead. Yeah, he was ahead of uh, <clears throat> Jimmy Butler in the ESPN one too. Ah, uh, I think Jimmy brings an overall better game, but Tatum's young too. Whoa. Kevin Durant at number 10. And it's talking about the Achilles injury. Oh, God. Dame at nine. AD at eight. Oh, the Joker at seven? No, 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 no. AD better than him. We know KD is better than him. Dane Paul is be better than him. Curry at six. Um, Kawhi at five. I don't know. Harden at four. Talking about Harden, this man. There's reports that he he was arguing with teammates and threw a ball at a damn rookie too. I don't, I don't know. Luke at three. I know the hype. I'm a Mavericks fan, but you already you already saw what my top ten would have been with the people they gave for ESPN. Giannis at two, and then should be LeBron at one, right? Yep. Well, that was the list. Um, let me guys. Know what you think of this um, e list? I will say this: if if I was to compare a list, I think Bleacher Report actually did better than ESPN. Maybe for ex a good extent they did. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this double upload today, and uh, can't wait to watch some NBA basketball. Excuse me tonight and. Uh, then, you know, tomorrow night, watching my Mavs on TV against the New Look Suns. I can't wait to see what Dallas looks against the New Look Suns as well. I think it's going to be amazing. And I'll be back with NBA predictions for, you know, a certain amount of days and all that. Just like I did last year. And we're going to do it for throughout the season. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And until next time, I'll see you guys here on the Tyler Keller Show. Peace.